Hi everyone, my name is Lori. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. Uh, I decided to start these videos to see my journey. And yesterday I did a haul video and it was only part of the haul, so I did part one yesterday. I'm going to finish that haul today. Uh, I went to the Goodwill outlets on Tuesday and <laughs> I wanted to do $25 and I spent $45. So, and I counted what I had hauled yesterday and I had 20 items then and the rest of it in a big uh, hamper and there's 37 items in here so um, even with items that I'm keeping for myself it's less than a dollar uh, a piece that I'm paying for these items so because it's a dollar 29 a pound um, but um, so here we go and first up it's a vintage current scene it's a very 80s um, I saw some like on eBay but it was in a different different color these are brown and tan and they have the very 80s like red blue and stripes um, I mean there are some stains on it and uh, that kind of worries me but I'll do what I can but if nothing else it will um, and there's some damage but uh, it is a vintage piece so I'm gonna try what I can and um, list it as is and just you know do the flaws and see where it goes from there um, this one was kind of a whim kind of thing uh, but it's a Cabela's camo vest uh, and I don't know what year if it's vintage or whatever but I mean it something to list um not really this season now but if i get it now i can um list it and have it there for when it is and this is aeropostale um but it's really cute and it's very uh summery so uh you know i'll try it out uh and these broke aware i don't think they're that great of a brand broke aware. Um, they're very, very blingy though. Look at that. But I really liked the hems and their caprice. Um, but I really like this and the tap, you know, the ties there. Um, and they're dark wash, but they're kind of yeah, distressed. All right. And I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible because they're there are a lot of items, but I will, you know, keep it as short as I can. Um, and this is just a J. Crew piece, but it's very light. And again, um, I'm going for more summer, spring, summer items that uh, will. Now, this was from summer of 13, so it's a little bit older, but it does have a keyhole front and it's light, so. Um, got it. This is just a fun pattern, I thought. It's the limited. Um, I have a few limited, the limited pieces, and I mean, they don't run, but it's a really, I think it's a fun print, and it's very pretty. And as I said before, dresses, I've actually had some luck with dresses lately, so, um, you know, if it's something that's working, I'm going to keep getting those kind of items. And American Eagle, I, I like, these are, you know, good bread and butter pieces. It's got nice, uh, really, you know, floral embroidery. It's, it's embroidered on, um, but I, this might be a cover. It does to have that material like a, but it's this nice sundress. American Eagle, it, you know. Uh, again, that's another brand that I really like to keep in. I think I bought those either for myself or my niece, but they're they're just Massimo. But I thought they were really cute shorts. Um, I like the color and the material. Uh, but you know, I could try it. But I think I'm gonna keep them. 
and Old Navy, the Rockstar, Midrise. See, these are capris, it looks like. And I've heard, you know, I watch other YouTubers, and um, they get the rocks, the Rockstar in the Old Navy. Um, but the Midrise, it might not be as good of a sell as, you know, the high rise high rise jeans are, you know, more popular right now, so uh, they might be a tougher sell, but, you know, they're 12 regulars. Um, that's not a bad size. It's actually a really good size. Um, and again, this is another one of those ones that I just thought Rubble by Primark. Oh, it's a kid's shirt. Which, I didn't know that, but I just thought it was a really cool print. Um, it says Mojave 1958 Las Vegas. And it's just cactus print. But apparently it's a kid's. I thought that was cool. Um, and Urban Nomad. Now, and that's from the Earthbound Trading. And I, I couldn't find anything on the Urban Nomad. It was just, you know, the parent company of uh, Earthbound Trading. So, um, it's a very flowy tank. Um, with, you know, it, it does have some intricate stuff going on there so uh, we'll see what goes on um, and this is and I should I should do a halt because there was a couple weeks ago I went as well and I just didn't uh, video what we, I had gotten but this I got a fossil and it's it's the canvas or you know canvas uh, material and it isn't too bad of shape there's some uh, a little bit of stains, but I think I could run this through the wash. But back to the other, like I had found a fossil, and it was kind of beat up, but it was a brown leather one. So I have to, I still have to work on that to um, to see. And that's really. I wish I it had the fob. I um, I was very <laughs> a little disappointed. I didn't. It didn't have the fob. I think the other one did, but. I might try to wash this, but I'm not sure if it can. Um, but it's a really fun fossil, and uh, I didn't look up the comps. And I probably should have because, you know, just because it's a brand doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell, but I'll try it out. And my fun graphic tees. Um, I had something similar to this over the summer, but it was a tie-dye with you know emoji on it and it sold really, really quickly and I was kind of surprised I thought it was gonna sit I mean figured somebody would come along and want it but it sold within like a week or two at full asking price and I was quite surprised but you know graphic tees always a good um, I like them in my closet let's just say that and Taylor Loft um, and it's just a floral, it's a floral print, um, uh, dress. It does have the, the, thi uh, the belt to go on it. A lot of times I find the dresses and they don't have the belts or the strings on it and I have to sell it as is and it actually, you know, devalues the item, but, um, I thought it was cute, so I got it. And another time that I buy because it says... And I shouldn't. Don't do what I do unless you're willing to uh, <laughs> go with the consequences of this. But um, I didn't look this up. It's a Nordstrom, and I don't even know. I don't even know where the Nordstrom. If there is a Nordstrom in the Pittsburgh area, I'm sure there is. I, I I've never shopped there, so um, I don't know. But it's. I, I think it's a night like a little nightgown. I hope that wasn't a rip. Oh, it's just very diaphanous. And I'm pretty sure it is silk. I thought I saw that it was silk somewhere. 
but um, you know Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, whatever it was, uh, I'll just see what it's worth and go from there. Um, I don't know about this. I had looked up the comps when I got it. It, you know, they're fifteen to twenty dollars sold. Fifteen to twenty dollars. It's Caval, Cavallini, but I just thought it was really cool and it has a really pretty I say pretty oh my god I gotta stop that I'll try and um but it's you know it's it's a fun print um and it has you know this give area at the at the sides um uh, let's see nothing sells until you list it and Alexandra Bartlett. I only got this because it's 100% linen. And I like the color um, and style. So, and again, it is that time of year that people want linen. They, they go nuts over linen items. Um, no matter what the brand, you know, you can get a pretty good return on it. Um... This is, uh, so, announcements, maternity, I like picking up, um, maternity clothes, it's a pretty, it's a gingham, so, you know, the red gingham, it's actually, um, in, uh, right now, so, uh, that this would be on point, I think, and I, I'm not sure if this, it's a large... I don't know if this is a shirt dress or if it's just a shirt. Um, fun fact, I just ordered a, <laughs> a pregnant uh, mannequin so that I can actually portray the, the, the items that I get that are uh, maternity better. Uh, hopefully it comes tomorrow a little bit so that I can start. Um, I have a couple items that I want to relist because I just couldn't get couldn't get a good picture of them. And this is a heavy piece. Laundry Men's. And it's made in Italy. I don't know. Um, the comps look good for laundry. Uh, but, you know, it might be one of those items. I don't know if they're real, real takes men's or thread up the take a men's. I don't know. Um, but again, I'll look into it. If nothing else, I can list it on Poshmark, eBay, whatever. Um, so this is an REI item, so Recreational Equipment Inc. And everybody says, you know, that's a great brand. And I just realized that it is really light, faint as to what size, but it is a men's large. And it's just, you know, a fleece hoodie. This is only the second time, and actually, I, it, the last time I went, I found an REI item. Um, but everybody's like, you know, REI, that's great. So I got it, and we're gonna try it. But the last one I found, um, either the zipper was they were it was a pair of pants, so it would have been better. But the, like the zipper was broken, so I had to leave it behind. That time, I didn't have to, so we're gonna try it, and hopefully. It does well. And this is just new boundaries. It's, you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, these are for me. Yeah. Alright. And Danny and Nicole size 6. It is pretty. It's, you know, a lace a lace I, over the, I didn't really look it up. I just thought it was a cute business, you know, something nice to be put under a jacket or something, a blazer, you know, whatever. All right. All right, so this is Reebok. It's a large, but it was, I thought it was like, yeah, CrossFit. So it does say CrossFit, and I'm not, I should have looked it up, obviously, but you know, people are still into CrossFit, and, you know, 
Oh, this was. And this is silk. And I R O. I R O. It's size large. Um, 100% silk. And the comps on items from this brand are really good. I couldn't find the exact because this is kind of. I, I don't even know how to. I'm going to have to find out how to describe it. I might even use Sal Hound um, to get a good listing for this. Because obviously, something like this, I would want as much out of it as I possibly could. Um, this item, I actually was in. It was in this throwback. I, I, I had it, and then when I was um, sorting, I'm like, oh, I don't want it. And then, so it's Z by Zella. And then, I was in the Poshmark app, and I was doing one of the parties, and it was Zella is one of the parties. And I'm like, I thought that was one, and I, I, I uh, turned to the person that I went with, and like. I would put that back and she's like, why would you? <laughs> so it's a hooded and it has the thumb holes. Um, and it's a really nice heather blue color. So we'll try that. I saw the error in my ways. Hopefully it uh, pans out as to... Um, I just thought this was adorable. I do do... Do do. I do also like kids items I did um, and it's Nana kids size 4 uh, it is really cute it's green and it has the you know I currently I just I just added a sale to my Poshmark closet for the kids clothes just to you know get some momentum there uh, generally I do alright with the kids clothing though and again I think this is for me because it's an Ireland shirt and I am Irish. <laughs> so, um, oh, it is definitely for me because I found a hole. So, I will wear them, this, with this. Awesome! I have my St. Patrick's Day outfit. Alright, so this is a Wrangler, and I don't know. It, wow, that's really cool. I didn't even notice it. I just thought, you know, Western wear, it's pink, it's got, I think those are called Swiss dots, Swiss dots, I do believe, <laughs> uh, and um, it's the pearlesque, oh, it's a pink pearlesque uh, snaps, um, I don't know dates, I doubt it's vintage or anything, but it's actually kind of cool, and it's a medium. So, um, these shoes, I thought I'd put them back, but apparently I put them in with my clothes. Oopsie. Usually, um, shoes are actually a separate, shoes are $1.59 a pound, so not that much more, uh, but I thought I'd put them back. They're not too bad, and they're Clarks, and, uh, again, my friend had a red pair in her closet and she just sold them so um, I'm kind of glad that I got them then. Uh, I'll have to get them listed. Clark's uh, brand do really well. I uh, I like to find those. I don't see the other one. So I found I must not have gotten them both and that really kind of makes me angry um, unless I find it somewhere. But it's just a champion is that c9 and it's an extra extra large like workout tank and i had found two of the same size and i think one was black and then this one and i was gonna lot them but if i don't have the other one um this one might not be as good of a bias all that but it's light so um it didn't cost that much and this is for my youngest niece um, she's six, so she will enjoy that. I forgot to give it to her. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is still relevant, but I thought it was cute, so, um, I still will put it. So it's Extreme Concepts. 
Um, so I'm sure it's a kid's, a kid's item, but I'm still going to put it with everything you can. And I think I got this from my, my other niece. Um, so they were time and true. So no, not big. And these... Did I get these for me or did I just get them because they have anchors and I think I looked up the uh, I looked up the brand and I can't pronounce that brand have a uh, Ayana's I don't know um, and I think I looked up the brand and they the comps weren't too bad because they're the flip-flops so they're not you know eight dollar boots uh, if I don't make much money on it, I'm not going to be that disappointed because I'm sure there's other items in this haul that will pay for the whole haul and I can um, go from there. Meraki. I don't, I don't know that brand, but I thought they were cute. Um, you know, they're fun and shorts. So, um, I don't know where that other and American Eagle. Um, as I said, American Eagle, even though it's a boot cut, um, I'm still going to find, and I'm going to check the hutch and everything because I was really upset the last time I found American Eagle jeggings, and I was so excited because jeggings and American Eagle, they are... Uh, Moy, uh, I love them, and I got home, and this part was just destroyed. Like you couldn't even cut them off, and I was so disappointed. And but this one, yeah, those are good. It's a size six, and um, they zip. They're good, and you know, flare legs and stuff are coming back. And I don't know about boot cut though, but um, even the bottoms are pretty good. So, they're going to be listed. And here's another item. And it's Chico's. I do remember this. But, again, it's 100% linen. And it is... It's a cute jacket. Um, blazer, whatever it is. Um, I sell Chico's. But, it's not... And there's pocket. There's a snap pocket there. Um, and I think it needs washed. But, that's fine. We can wash it. That's the point. And, um, I sell Chico's. I've sold Chico's. But, not for, like, high dollars amounts. It's, you know, again, bread and butter. Um, sometimes I don't even get above $10. But, I'm still making a profit when I get it from the bins. So, I'm alright with, you know, somebody offering me $10 for an item. And, you know, it's a rehome. And then they don't go to the landfills and somebody is, you know, using an item. So, um, that's it for today. It's empty. Um, and, again, uh, thank you for watching. And if you made it through this, thanks so much. Uh, please be sure to either like and subscribe. <laughs> that would be awesome. And uh, catch you next time. And have a great night. Bye.